Tanny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. We're here with part two of the uh, Dream Snap submissions from the In Bloom Challenge. So these are the submissions that have been posted in my Discord. Um, as I said in the last video, all absolutely incredible and amazing submissions. I love to see it. They're all so beautiful and so stunning. And I do hope that you all get the results that you deserve because they're all absolutely gorgeous creations. So good luck to you all. Um, if you recognize any of these submissions, if you've come across them when voting, make sure to leave a little comment down below and don't forget if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so um because it does help me out massively and i think about 50 percent of my viewers aren't subscribed so <laughs> it definitely would mean a lot to me if you hit that button but thank you anyone who does watch my videos anyone who likes um and comments you all mean the world to me so thank you so much for supporting this very little channel that is steadily growing and i love to see this community just growing and thriving and everything like that it's it's wonderful to see anyway let's move to discord none of you want to hear me rambling for half an hour <laughs> so let's go over to discord and check out these amazing submissions so we're starting off here with Say Hi Joel submission and I love this, I love that you've got the greenhouse here but you've framed it with like these uh, Beauty and the Beast pillars. It looks so pretty that way and then framed with the like gazebos either side. This is a gorgeous little setup. I love that you've used the little pond. I really wanted some water element in like my submission like one of the ones that I was doing. I did it near the pond in the meadow, but I couldn't get the angle so that you could see the water and I was just like, oh, forget it. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. <laughs> but I love this. I think this is so cute. I love that we've got the archways as well, all the fountains and then all the flowers at the front. It's just so beautiful. This is a fantastic submission and a great way to start off this uh, dream, uh, Discord Dream Snaps review video. Okay, so we're moving in quite quickly to one of my submissions. Uh, this is from my new account and I really, really do love this submission. It turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to turn out. Honestly, this might be my favourite of all the submissions that I've created. Um, at this point, I feel like I'm doing better on my new account than I am doing on my main account <laughs> when it comes to Dream Snaps. But we've caught some nice butterflies here. We have the little bird here, like kind of like giving a little boop to the face, a little kiss there, a little peck on the cheek, um, which is super cute. I've put a load of floral elements down here with a mix of flowers i did want to get as much of a variety of flowers in there as i could and then we have some little cherry blossoms and the floating lanterns as well so hopefully this does well i really like this submission so i am hoping for a good result with this next up we have wolfie submission and i really really like this i love the framing with the arches i love the floral elements and all the sparkles using the like glimmer pieces as well is really cute and i love this little pathway up towards the fairy floss house which is adorable i think this is a gorgeous little setup i think your character looks so cute posing with the monkey and i hope this does well for you Next up we have Princess Star Butterfly who's done this like springtime in the park kind of submission. I do really really like this. I love how there's a lot of like painting easels like we've even got Mother Gothel here painting. <laughs> And then you've got Rapunzel over here and yourself here ready to start painting this beautiful little setup and scene. Um, I love the floral elements around the clock tower. I think that's so cute. It definitely does have those park vibes, like all the structured little walkways and everything like that. This is a really, really cute submission and I'm really excited to see what your results are. Next up, we have a couple of submissions from Amy. 
Uh, we have this one here, which has the uh, Mickey Cloud, which I love to see. I do see you mentioning that in your comment below now. I see that. And oh my God, look at this massive like flower field. Now this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I love this setup with all these flowers and everything like that. It's so, so pretty. I love all the kind of like glowing flowers dotted in, which add like such a cute little element. The amount of buildings you've got going on in the background, like all these castles and stuff, is absolutely incredible. And then there is this cute little heart smoke cloud as well. Like, oh my god, this is so cute. And then we've got the moon here. We have all the, like, sparkles from the trees here. We have all the pillar orbs. This is, honestly, this is a fantastic submission. This is so good so florally this is this is gonna do well and then we have your next submission here which is again just incredible i love this i love the foggy haze and glow to the photo i think it really adds a unique kind of like touch to it and the fact that we see the back of like eric's ship here like i think that's eric's ship right that's what it looks like to me like i just like it's just a unique like again item or viewpoint that you don't see very often i love that you've gone with the snuggly duckling tavern in the background and then all these floral elements even with the mushrooms mixed in works because it again has that kind of like nature vibe to it so this is a really good submission i'll be excited to see how your results are on this one Okay, so next up we have this submission from Christian Henry. Now, I must admit it does look like she changed her submission, but I thought this was worthwhile showing because I do love this mix of glowing flowers. I think this is a really unique concept. Um, I love that we've got like the waterfall in the background and different elements with like the harp at the front and everything like that. This is quite pretty. I love that you've gone with the very colourful skirt as well. So this is a good submission, but I I must admit i do think i prefer your final choice and submission so now we come to my main account submission now for those of you that watch the live stream you'll probably know that i put up an image um from my instagram account of like this very cool kind of like photo that i took um when um a uh, brit came to my valley she dropped off a ton of flowers i was so happy and she dropped off a ton of these blue flowers like the glass ones and the glowing ones and i just had this massive field of blue flowers and then i'd taken a photo of my character posing in the middle of it in the blue dress um looking out to the night sky and i just loved the vibes of it i thought it was so so stunning now i was a little worried that going all blue for my submission might make it look one a little bit too dark two a little bit bland especially since i knew a lot of the other submissions were going to probably have like multiple colored flowers and things like that like i knew they were going to be a lot more diverse in the colors so i did change the submission a bit from like the photo that i took ages ago when i was just taking like super pretty photos and everything like that um and i thought i'd add in a mix of color now my first idea was to use this pink castle um because i thought the pink would offer a nice juxtaposition to the blue um and then we've gone for like a sunset time of day so that it's still bright but like we've got that kind of color from the sky with the the yellows to the purples um and then we have the floating lanterns which are obviously like yellowy orange in color again just kind of add in a bit of contrast so like the color like the photo hopefully doesn't feel well i mean clearly it isn't one color anymore but like that was my main idea was like making sure that the photo just didn't look a bit flat and monotone is that the right word monotone that's what you usually use for someone's voice, isn't it? Monochromatic, is that the word? I don't know, but you all know what I'm talking about, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I did a good mix of kind of like keeping elements of the original picture that I have on my Instagram that I really love 
whilst um, adding a new direction to it and adding depth of colours and things like that. We did end up using this orb trick um, <laughs> in the fight. I, I wasn't too sure how it looked. I couldn't quite get it to line up right. But again, just kind of like joining the blue to the blue. And obviously we've got a little bit of sparkle here. And then we have a lot of sparkles around by my character as well. So fingers crossed this does well but i'm really not sure this is of the three submissions that i created my one the snap um like my main one my snap for my husband and my snap for my new account this is the one that i'm least confident on so it'll be interested to see if that's reflected in the scores at all so we'll just have to wait and see Next up we have Lainey Faye with this absolutely gorgeous submission here. This is so beautiful. I love the variety of colours with the flowers. I love the floating lanterns here. All the foliage in the background as well. You've got the light heart castle peeking through in the background there in the distance which I absolutely love. Again just kind of add in a lot of depth to the shot which I think is wonderful. I think your character looks super cute posing here with the little love bird. This is a beautiful submission and I really really like this does sound like someone subscribed then so i do apologize for the noise there um hopefully that doesn't disrupt the video too much i always love a subscriber so thank you whoever that was <laughs> thank you um but yeah this was a, a beautiful submission i love to see it next up we have moonshine with this beautiful submission i love the sparkles here we've got so many sparkles like coming from above from below your character looks adorable i love all the different floral elements like using the dream mango trees is like again like some of that i feel is like a unique choice but it works really really well um i love this kind of like little dining setup like you're dining in this beautiful florally garden and of course casita's house looks incredible here obviously we've got the bird cage lights here but i love that that kind of that glow is replicated with the candle that burns in casita so yeah i think this is a wonderful little submission here next up we have nan logan here with this submission and i really really like this i love all the floral elements and i love that your hair has this kind of like almost multi colored like texture to it so we know this hairstyle comes with like these pink braids threaded through and then you've got your own kind of like blonde hair there mixed in with like some purple tones as well which just looks really really pretty i love the like the beast greenhouse in the background with those floral elements as well this is a very little pretty setup and i love the glow from your companion which kind of fades into the haze of the glow from the flowers i just think it works beautifully next up we have blush danielle with this submission and this is gorgeous i love this golden walkway lined with these lights i think that is absolutely spectacular i love all the different floral elements here um lining the flower beds and this like symmetry in the photo is absolutely gorgeous um i do love the little gazebo in the background we've got this clock piece here which looks beautiful and then we have the like the pink heart castle here with the little pink heart smoke cloud that is so so cute i love that and i love that you've got mirabelle here i think she's a wonderful uh person to have within the photos especially with her very florally dress um i think she works very well this is a gorgeous eye-catching submission i think this is going to rank very very highly next up we have bagel arena with this submission and this is so pretty look at that mickey cloud there that is gorgeous i love this setup with the benches and the like uh the fountain in the middle i think that works so nicely i do love all these like florally planters you've got dotted around and the fairy bloss house i think it works together so nicely um this is a gorgeous submission i love the colors in it i love the vibrancy of the photo this is an incredible submission 
Next up, we have the Decorista with their submission. And this submission is wonderful. I did see you doing this on stream. I think it was gorgeous. You had this like pre-built area. And I love the foliage on here. I love that you've gone for this like florally headscarf. I think that's such a cute like piece to use. I love the glowing sun coming through from the trees there. Even the like cherry trees work really, really nicely here. This is a gorgeous little setup, very florally, definitely very garden vibes. I love this. I think this is an incredible snap. Next up, we have Flame G with this submission. And if this is, this is like a winning snap if I ever saw one. This is absolutely incredible. We have the moon here. We have what looks to potentially be a Mickey Cloud creeping in there. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, we have all the butterflies here. We have all the sparkles. So many flowers. Like, literally, you couldn't put any more flowers in if you tried. This is absolutely incredible. This is a 10 out of 10 submission. I love this one. This is so beautiful. Um, I did watch a, another creator uh doing a voting video um i think it's quiet witch gaming i think um i'm only new to their content i've only seen like one or two of their videos but actually i seen like two of flame g's uh submissions in her video like she showed a bunch of monster sona submissions at the end and flame g's submission was in that as well as this one which she voted on it was absolutely incredible to see so uh, great to see that this is getting voted on. This is absolutely a high ranking submission. This is gorgeous. Next up we have Queen234 with this very cute cottagecore submission here. I love the cherry blossoms. I love all the glowing flowers. And I love that we've got this like little picnic set up. It feels like a very natural uh, submission. Like again like not a constructed or staged area. It's just probably a part of your valley. And it just works very very nicely. It's very beautiful. I love the glowing lights from the vine lamps. The little candlestick here and obviously the glowing lights coming from inside the cottage this is just such a cute submission very simple but very very beautiful next up we have cat with this gorgeous glowing submission i love this i love the colors on this i love how the wings glow i love how the backdrop glows like peeking through these willow trees there's a lot of glowing here uh, all the glowing flowers just work really nicely together and then the glow from the flowery cottage this is beautiful all the butterfly flowers work really well here it just feels like a, a meadow of flowers which i love i think this is a wonderful little submission next up we have madam red with this beautiful submission and oh my goodness look at this look at all these florally elements here feels like a magical garden i love that we've got the like pillar orbs here we've got the vine lamps we've got some floating like little lanterns in the background here i love how your character looks this is gorgeous this is so like i love how vibrant and bright this is despite the fact that it's taken at night which i do think like could potentially work against you with a nighttime submission i will openly say that with any submissions this week that are kind of done at night time i think they might struggle a little bit more because i think a lot of people will be looking for bright and vibrant submissions but i just want to say and stress that doesn't mean that i don't like the submissions because i do like i love this submission i love winter dragonfly submission they were they were all beautiful don't get me wrong i'm just thinking from like a crit cool voting perspective um and it's not a reflection on how i actually feel about the snap <laughs> um because i i quite like nighttime submissions i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i do sometimes like them myself so <laughs> but just like as a critical uh viewpoint which i try to give in these uh little reviews i try to think of it from a like a outside perspective as well so uh, i hope i don't offend anyone with that 
Um, but this is gorgeous. I love all the flowers on the ground. I love the colours. I love that you've used this like pink rug. I think it glows nicely under this um, like golden octopus table with the Beauty and the Beast uh, rose on it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Also, I will showcase to everyone because I think the giant Mickey cloud is amazing. But you did find a giant Mickey cloud. You just couldn't get it into the shot. So let's have a look at that. So this here is the giant Mickey Cloud and oh my god, this is incredible. This is so big, but I do love to see it. I, I love a Mickey Cloud, so I thought I would share with the class. <laughs> Next up we have Cole. I I love Cole. Everyone knows how much I love Cole and his submissions. <laughs> like, if you want like fairy core vibes, Cole is a genius at that. He is the master when it comes to those kind of vibes. I love this. This is beautiful. I love all the like birds. Like we got this love bird here. We got the one on the left. We've got the like hummingbird in the background there. We have all these different florally elements like the planters. We have these like mix of like bushes and foliage. We have some glowing sparkles here. We have some like little lights and lanterns. Um I love the celestial pillars, the vine lamps, the like projector lights. Honestly, this is a gorgeous submission. The fairy core vibes are immaculate with this photo. Fantastic job here, Cole. Next up, we have silver ears with this submission. And I love this. Okay, shut up. This is so cute. Okay, I love this. I love this kind of like outdoor, like sleeping tent kind of vibes with these like little bed bits that you got from the like um starlight bundle. They look so good. Like I would not usually use that as an item outdoors because I'm one of those people like, what if it rains? But what if it rains? And I know it's a game, so it's irrelevant, but that is, like, my tone of thought. But, like, this is incredible. And, like, the fabrics, the flowy fabrics just work so well in this kind of, like, little setup and scene. I think it's so beautiful. It adds, like, kind of, like, a, a beautiful kind of, like, mystical, magical kind of vibe about it. I just feel very flowy and light <laughs> just so you know that's probably a bit weird <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so I'm so weird <laughs> but yeah I, I love it and then I do love the little pond with the swan in it I love the like little um arches here with the fountains the popcorn machines and the little popcorn buckets we've got dotted around we have Rapunzel here we do have a lot of floral elements with the florally arches we've got these bushes we've got the butterfly flowers we've got some different flowers dotted around as well it's all just kind of like a a very subtle floral element which i love i just think this is a gorgeous little setup it's so cute and yeah i love it i think this is really cute Next up we have Nia, the amazing Nia, with this beautiful submission. I love this. I love this little setup. Like, it it really tells a story. Okay, so one, we've got this beautiful little picnic setup, which I love how zoomed in we are so we can really see the different details here, like the different details on the books, even the basket, which has, like, flowers in it and everything like that. I love that we've got this um, beautiful little fountain in the background. We've got this uh, Beauty and the Beast rose. We've got the cherry blossoms. We've got the butterfly flowers in the background. A cute little ice cream stand in front of the fairy bloss house. I love that we've got the figment topiary here. And we do also have the greenhouse as well. What I also like is that we've got this little easel. So it's like you're out here having a picnic, doing some painting, doing a bit of reading. It's a gorgeous little setup. Um, I love how you're posing with the bird here. You've got the floral elements in your hair and the earring. Um, and I love that obviously with this blanket, we've got like the rose and the petals here. Oh my God, this is so pretty. This is gorgeous. I love it. I think this is a wonderful submission. This is fantastic. Next up, we go for Rora's submission here. And I know you had a lot of spiraling and stuff about this photo. I know um you offered it up for feedback and a lot of people said like there needs to be more flowery elements and things like that 
which I can understand obviously looking at a lot of the submissions uh this week in the discord there's a lot of them that have like heavy on the like flower flowers but i still think this is a very florally snap when we've got the bushes with the flowers in them we have the butterfly pea flowers we have the cherry blossoms uh you've gone for the florally braid we've got rapunzel here with the florally braid um i just think this is a really pretty setup and i love the lighting on this and the colors it's really cat are like eye catching and captivating i love the color you've gone for with your outfit this is an absolutely wonderful submission i really hope this does well because personally i think this is stunning um so i really want it to do well <laughs> because i love this i love this <laughs> i think this is gorgeous so i hope it does well i know you are feeling a bit anxious over it but hopefully it does well for you and i'm excited to sort of find out about your results and everything next up we have fora fora with this absolutely gorgeous submission fora fora knocks it out the park each and every week i just want to say <laughs> um and but yeah this is an absolutely wonderful submission i love all the butterflies that you've got here on the left side presumably from mirabelle we have a lot of sparkles here at the bottom. I love that we've got this kind of like very natural path leading to the fairy bloss house. And then we've got rows and rows of flowers. And I love that it's like symmetrical. Like you've got a row of the pink flowers reflected on the right side. And then on the left you've got a row of the orange which is then reflected on the right side. Even these like, uh, like these fan planter fern things whatever they're called works really nicely the little good not gazebos trellises that you've got lining across the bamboo wall is such a really um cute and pretty setup and i love that you've used the little like flower pots as well so it actually looks like you kind of like gardening and stuff like that like this looks like a, a garden that's being tended to if that makes sense and of course we've got the little wally bike here this is absolutely gorgeous. I am curious as to where this photo is taken. Um, I, only from the sense of like, we've got these massive walls of this bamboo. And I'm curious as to where this was taken for like the space. Because I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, the majority of your tags are hidden <laughs> behind this wall of bamboo and the lighting here is really beautiful as well so i'm just thinking this might be a really good place to take dream snaps it looks like there's a lot of space is what i'm trying to get at i guess it looks like there's a lot of space here so i would be very curious to find out where this was taken and i might have to do future submissions in this place depending on whether i've decorated there or not <laughs> I'll probably find out is a biome where I've got tons of decor and I'll be like, okay, well, that's out the window. But this is nice. This is lovely. I really like this. Next up, we have Sunny with their second account submission. And I love this. Again, using the Casita building. See, Casita building has so many floral elements built in. We have this gorgeous little tree. We have the vine, the little flower pot. We have these beautiful floral elements as well. I love the Casita house. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of mini Casita. I know a lot of people don't like it and a lot of people think it's really big. Personally, I am a mini Casita fan, you know. <laughs> I will be a fan of mini Casita till the day I die. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And it's great to see here. I love all the floral elements at the front and then all the sparkle. Honestly, I'm such a sucker for sparkle. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we have Momba Jewels with this submission. And this is gorgeous too using the fairy bloss house the uh, fairy godmother pumpkin house the mushroom house the like waterfalls in the background there with the like oasis nala's waterfall 
uh we've got the little pond not pond like the pool thing here from the moana collection i love this this is gorgeous obviously we can't go past without mentioning the mickey cloud which is stunning your character looks beautiful i love the variety in the flowers here i think that's so so pretty and obviously all the sparkles as well so this is a wonderful little submission i think this is gonna do really really well it's so beautiful and i'm so excited to see you get 4k because i think that is a guaranteed result for you next up we have melly b with this submission and this is so pretty look at this this is so cute okay so we've got these like glowing flowers here and in the background here which is gorgeous i love how they frame this like little pathway to this summery flowery cottage i love the starlight projector here adding this purple glow which works really well with the purple trees and then i love that you've color coordinated your outfit to match the like purple glows here this is a wonderful submission again it feels very simple you know it doesn't feel cluttered with items or anything like that but it's so beautiful so florally i think this is a fantastic submission this is so beautiful and this is yeah this is gonna do well this is gorgeous this is beautiful next up we have tawana here with this submission and oh my god the colors in this wow this picture packs a punch i love this this is fantastic i love these um blue like leaf bushes we all know these are like my favorite foliage item from the attorney isle rift in time expansion so i love to see it i love the arches towards the house but you know what i kind of like i like that they're staggered there's a bit of a gap between them i do find that a lot of time when these arches are put to use they're always like right next to each other which isn't a criticism it's how i've used them before in the past but i love that this gives that staggered effect so we can see the vines draping on each of the arches which is gorgeous i love the symmetry with like the little fountains here we've got the cherry blossom trees the sparkle from the dreamlike fruit trees we really need more trees that give off sparkle to be honest like more of these dreamlike fruit trees please <laughs> i love the like hydrangea bundles we've got the like fairy godmother like little carriage plant things here your character looks gorgeous posing here with the bird and the heart castle in the background this is just a wonderful submission fantastic job next up we have another submission from sunny and wow wow okay again this is a nighttime shot so again i hope it doesn't go against you in any way but i think you've chosen that shot for all this sparkle to glow even more which i think was a fantastic decision and choice to make i love this this glow this like there's so much sparkle there it almost looks like it's on fire it's so crazy <laughs> it's amazing it's fantastic i love the mix of the like pink and green flowers here as well i love that it's definitely very like two-toned almost with like the pinks and the greens i love that mix in we've got it with the dream mango trees we've got like obviously all the green foliage and then i love that you've got it all surrounding this beautiful like tangled um carpet rug um it's it's yeah this is just gorgeous so pretty i think this is going to do very very well and last but certainly not least we have angel of thursday here with this submission and i love this i love the florally like bushes at the front i love all the flower planters in the background i love that you've got the well backdrop i think that's such a cute idea and i love how your character's here posing in the middle um we've got these beautiful tangled lanterns here as well which is a lovely little addition this is a gorgeous little setup a beautiful little scene and a fantastic dream snap and there you have it that's all the submissions from discord for the in bloom dream snap challenge i hope you really liked this video um and yeah make sure to leave a comment down below and a big thumbs up if you liked any of these submissions uh show that you love them by leaving a like <laughs> um but thank you all so much for watching it really means a lot to me 
um thank you for supporting this growing channel uh, again the support is unbelievable and i'm so appreciative of every single one of you so thank you so much anyway i'm gonna wrap up here and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys